Ever since they were first introduced into the game in 2010, servers have had a significant role in many players' emotional journey. Whether simple multiplayer, factions, or minigame servers such as Havoc's Load or Mindplay, they have served as places where fantasy and fun can come to life. Yet, the state of servers has never been more insane than now. Long-stay servers such as the Hive and Mindflex have recently shut down due to low player counts. The success of these servers by the Rock counterparts may be part of the reason of their shutdowns. It is impossible to not admit that the decline of these servers is partly due to their low player counts. More recently, servers such as the MCC Island and Tubnet, backed by popular YouTubers, have launched with pop promising features, yet have not succeeded due to various reasons such as poor marketing post launch and non original games. There is, there is also a server giant, which everyone knows, Hypixel, which averages 40,000 players a day, and many blame Hypixel due to this as they basically hog all the players. With all these unsuccessful servers and power Hypixel has their large player base over other servers, is it possible for another server to ever be successful? To get an answer to this question, we first have to go back in time and look at the rise of the biggest server, Hypixel. Hypixel rose to be a rival against Mindplex from 2012, and due to new and fun games at the time, such as Blitz Survival Games, they were eventually able to outcompete Mindplex. The important thing to note is what servers YouTubers played on. While many large YouTubers at the time, such as Goddess Minecraft, did play on Mindplex, due to their frequent, their infrequent updates and lack of new games, Mindplex began to fall, and the Hypixel began to rise to, due to doing the opposite. This uprise in YouTubers playing the server also led to more players, which is very important. It is with a mix of both new ideas and games such as Pinkball, Blitz Survival Games, and Mega Walls, as well as YouTubers joining the server that helped Hypixel beat out Mindplex and later become the largest Minecraft server ever. Yet, these events seem very time specific as the rise in popularity of Minecraft and new ideas would be needed at the same time. Will these events ever happen again and will they be able to be duplicated? The answer is simple, yes, and it's already happened. Following its launch popularity, Minecraft had been on a steady decline. Through that, went down the player count of almost every server, including giants like Mindplex and Hypixel. Mindplex would never recover from this, unfortunately which contributed heavily to their decline. It seemed Minecraft wouldn't recover, as it's unlikely for game popularity to recover following the decline. Yet, due to YouTubers such as PewDiePie and SMP Live, you people were once again playing Minecraft. Also during that time, a little game called Skyblock was released on Hypixel, a complete and fresh new take on what a Minecraft server could offer. offer. Due to these events combined, the same events that allowed Hypixel to become so popular in the first place happened once again. Hypixel player counts spiked to numbers never seen before, while it part may partly be due to restrictions restricting people to stay home, YouTubers and new game ideas, servers popularity once again rose. Hypixel began, became so big at this time that their player count reached over 100,000 players at a single time. This record would probably never be beaten, and if it will be, it will probably be by Hypixel. Although many of you watching may say this is just luck and coincidence that these happen at the same time, due to it happening multiple times and an upwards trend of games popularity following more exposure on YouTube and updates, it's easy to see how they're connected. If a server in the future launches or adds new and interesting game modes at the same time there's an uprising of Minecraft videos on YouTube, we could very well see the rise of another Minecraft server. While it's unlikely, the only thing we can do is wait and see if it happens. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, drop a comment around what your favorite Minecraft server is. Because I know some people do play some cool classics. And it's awesome to see all these unique servers. But, anyways. Also, please consider subscribing. Please. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.